Hello, this is the One Episode Rule podcast about first impressions. I am Magpie. There's uh, there's no tape today. I threw it out. I just threw it out. You you, but you still tape. found one? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, but I threw it out. It's oh. fine. Oh, um, okay. Cool. Okay, oh. so yeah, okay. so we'll just watch something normal today? Yeah, well, yeah, I'll so just pick just... something. Okay. Um, okay, sounds good. Anyway, uh, how how are you guys? Uh, not bad. Hi, I am Joey, your delectable little... Um, I, you know what? I've stopped being a slime creature. Mm. I, okay. I've solidified, I have re-solidified into, um, just a bunch of bones at this point. Um, oh, okay. the, slime, the slime's gone and this you know, that's all that was left there. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm still a cat. I'm, You've been don't cleaned? get me wrong. I'm a cat. I'm a cat skeleton. Do you have legs yeah, this time? <laughs> I, um, let me, let me check. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's still legs here. Yep. Oh, okay. Wow. okay. Cool. You've gone so, from gelatin yep. to skeleton. Jelly. Gelatin, skeleton. <laughs> okay, I'm passing you the microphone. That's going to be Hello. my first single. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's Emma Jean, the Nightmare Queen. I am back. Um, and since last time, I have watched my dear best friend and roommate, Russell, complete a playthrough of Silent Hill 2 Remake. Mm-hmm. Yes. And also, I shaved my head. Oh yeah. What? Yeah, I was just you know All it was it? just time. I had yeah I got I had I went to a very fun Halloween party and I was very drunk and I had a wig on and I took the wig off and I was like I gotta get rid of all this shit underneath and mm. yeah oh my goodness scraped yeah. all right I'm scraped <laughs> peeled. Do you guys want some news? Yes. Yes. So, uh, so I'm kind of relying on you two to have opinions about this stuff because it will be opinion. You will have opinions about it. Okay. Uh, I trust you. I haven't looked into these things too deeply because I was looking into the third thing. Um, <laughs> uh, so uh, the talk of the talk of the town, uh, lore of disturbing human Pokemon relationships and hybrid offspring <laughs> comes to light in recent game freak. freak oh leads. man. Go. <laughs> I heard that the t- a lot of the tone of these is very like Greek myth and less it's, pornography. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, like the the Typhlosion one, it was very. I saw people making comparisons to like Beauty and the Beast. I was like, mm-hmm. okay, yeah, I can I can okay. jive with that. Um, the Octillery one did baffle me a lot more. <laughs> That's a very Japanese story. It feels yeah. like that one ukiyo e print that everybody knows. <laughs> yeah, the fisherman's wife. The fisherman's wife. The fisherman's, um, I mean, this was the... The, the fisherman. The fisherman. <laughs> yeah, my yes. god. I guess in a way, the artillery was the fisherman's wife. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, mm, what? Mm. Um, <laughs> plus, plus a lot of other stuff, including a, like a full, like a full-on... Uh, like creation myth for the entire Pokemon world. Yeah, no, I mean there that was a lot wild. of cool stuff in there that wasn't like um a little uh baffling and creepy. I mean it was I mean <laughs> creepy is not even the right. It's it was fine. Like people need to calm down. It was honestly to me funny more than anything. Um I- it felt. <laughs> so I was like, because the uh, he just found this octopus on the shore, and he was like, mm, and he 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 did. He well, had his way, and I then he threw it Ooh. back in the ocean, and it came it back. Like, and then hey, he did it again. More of that. He um, did it again, and he threw it back, and then it came back, and it had a son for him. And it was like, yeah, oh. <laughs> the cat yeah, came back. Yeah, had, the very next had, day. The Innsmouth look. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, next uh, next piece of news. One Piece anime hit with shock six months delay. Oh, shit. To yeah, Egghead arc broadcast. Apparently they're yep. going to be doing uh, edited Fishman Island instead. Yeah. Huh. Unfortunately, they were like, hmm, let's adapt the worst arc. Dance. Well, maybe it's... it'll be better. No, it they, won't. Because they because they're editing it. The story is fundamentally flawed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Fishman Island is very it's boring. It's um, 
I, I don't know. I just, ha I have a lot of problems with Fishman Island uh, that I won't get into because there's not enough time for an extended break me off a piece. <laughs> We've got to get to this, this okay. show. <laughs> well, fine then. I'll, I'll hit you guys with news that I know about. Okay. <laughs> News as fresh as five years ago, but uh, titting the English <laughs> language uh, internet. Uh, okay. Did you know that the author of Hajime no Ippo, the legendary boxing manga, uh, uh, George Morikawa, um, his proper name is Joji, but it's some, he sometimes goes by George. Mm. Uh, did you know that he founded his own boxing gym? Whoa. No, called I did JB not. Sports. Uh, <laughs> and it has a huge statue of one of the characters from Epo on the roof <laughs> that uh, okay. looks like this. Okay, okay, okay. So, ah. that's that's all good and dandy. I need to know, does the Manga Man go in there and do boxing himself? He is an old man. But, uh, I, I mean, he does, I get that. He does visit at least month or, once a month. And when there's a boxing match involved, sometimes he acts as a second. Uh, and in uh, in news as fresh as five years ago, did you know that that George Morikawa's uh, boxing gym, JB Sports, has a champion? What? what? <laughs> All right. One of the gym's boxers, uh, Ryoichi Tamura, the JBC Super Bantamweight belt. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Good, good for good for him. <laughs> he won the junior bacon cheeseburger. He did bout. it? <laughs> oh man! We gotta we gotta watch uh, we gotta go watch Epo sometime to learn about sure. learn about the dumbest, shortest, hungest man that ever lived. <laughs> uh, yeah, app yeah. Apparently, apparently, it's it's so significant that it like scares other boxers. That thing is swinging. <laughs> But <laughs> you've heard of Rocky. Now get ready for <laughs> for rock hard. <laughs> um. Um. No. So. Uh. Oh so yeah. You guys wanna. You guys wanna watch something? Yes. I thought yeah. I'd get something spooky. We got some scares. I thought I'd get something up. spooky, and we'd watch Pet Shop of Horrors. Whoa! Oh, wow! Whoa! Okay. All right. Let's get. Do it. Let's go shopping. You fed this bitch after midnight? Damn. That's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> the little yeah. Chinese man told you not to do that shit. Didn't. He when did, he yeah. specifically asked you not to, he specific yeah. it was. They were very easy terms. He asked you Pretty three things. <laughs> it's he fine. asked you three things, and you didn't even fail the one that seemed difficult. No one out here uh, is a responsible pet owner. You failed it's... the easy one. Yeah, <laughs> I thought they'd run out of incense or something, but yeah, no. like like keeping incense lit twenty four hours is difficult. They letting just... nobody see see her. That's letting no one see. It. Yeah, that's, that's very difficult. difficult. That could, lo one, lots think, of things but... could happen. But the fucking vegetables one. That one. No, that one. Literally, was an easy one. Day one. Day minute one. one they yeah. failed. They were like, uh, <laughs> "Who wants to read this uh, blurb okay. that I'm going to post?" I can read it. Hem, Count D, a quite interesting pet shop owner from an area called. Chinatown, Chinatown. <laughs> <laughs> sells rare and hard to come by pets to people longing for something special. But with each sale comes a contract. If the rules of the contract are followed, everything goes fine. But if someone should break the rules of the contract, the pet shop cannot be held responsible for anything unfortunate that might happen. <laughs> Leon Orcott, a homicide detective, has linked many odd and unexplainable deaths together. They were all customers of Count D's pet shop, and he intends to find out why. China isn't here, Mr. Burton. <laughs> <laughs> boy, um, oh boy. Uh, Before... What if, what, if, what if Kurt Russell was in this anime? Uh, I, mean, I hope he is. 
before we get into this, I need to know. Um, I think I feel like we've already discussed it amongst ourselves, but I need everyone to declare uh, the sub or dub status of their okay. watch through. So I so I, I turned this on without thinking, and it was on the dub, and uh, it got like two or three sentences in until I and until the guy on the phone dropped. <laughs> It's the no. hard F slur. I was just like, oh what? shit, I'm on the dub. <laughs> oh my god. Let me That's... just switch that over. That is exactly the why I wanted to ask because I was like, did, ev- did everyone switch over from the subs before um, approximately 53 seconds in when, yes, he, do- he does and just uh, he does just call count D uh, and F. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let me be clear. <laughs> he doesn't fucking say that in Japanese. He doesn't. Like, not, what's oh, that? Close. 90s era dubbing. <laughs> Oh yeah. boy! Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, I literally, my first note was, "Whoa!" So, I actually um, was lucky enough to catch that I was watching the dub at second mark number two, and uh, having learned my lesson from last episode, I went ahead and switched <laughs> over before I found out that anything fucked up happened so did, that's cool so did you continue listening i the, watched uh, the entire dub oh yeah oh, we, got a, no. we got a war course oh it's really that, so. funny oh my god oh boy so one thing i need to clarify uh for you is that uh everybody sounds completely different in japanese they don't even yeah. attempt the same intonation so yeah. so like uh so like count d was going for a very deep and smooth uh, <laughs> mysterious kind of voice. Count D in Japanese, it's just extremely effeminate. Yeah. Um, yeah. He had a very. Count D had a very soft little voice, like yeah, this. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was kind of thinking about like, like, like unfunny James Poke- from Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kinda. <laughs> yeah. Scary, I bet. scary, scary James that. from Pokemon. <laughs> scary James. <laughs> Scary James from Pokemon. That is really true. Um, so I, uh, I, I'll lay it on the table. Uh, this is schlock, but I like it. I kind of, I kind of really love it. <laughs> That's completely fair. <laughs> I um. This is we, we're approaching I, the laughing salesman. We finally, putting the tiger on the table here, folks. I. Had a good time. Um, <laughs> even with the dub, like the I, st- the- I had a good time. But speaking of the tiger on the scroll, um, we should. <laughs> the, yeah, here this. we go. Because yeah, the first scene in this, they get they get right into the meat of it. Oh, by the way, can I just say, love lo- love how Count D dress chooses to dress. Yes, <laughs> yes. Count D <laughs> is a good character. Just the, the full uh, peacock embroidered still. Uh huh. Like Chang Bao type thing. The scene <laughs> where, well, we'll talk about it. But the scene where Detective Orcott like sees him in the shop for the first time, and it just scrolls up so fucking long uh, over his dress because yes. he's so tall. It was really yes. good. He's like yes, really yes, tall yes. and wearing a ankle ankle length dressing gown. <laughs> yeah, I just want to imagine that that is um uh. That is our detective's like perspective. That is exactly what Orcot is doing. He is panning I think, I think up so. slowly. I'd like to believe eyes. that at some point they'll explore each other's bodies. But I would li- yeah, that's what I thought too. I would like if in the dub uh, Orcot had like a thick Brooklyn accent. He'd just be like, "Damn, this bitch just keeps going on." <laughs> he does not, but his voice is very fucking funny. <laughs> okay, well we'll have to get to <laughs> we'll it. get to because, it <laughs> because first we open on a phone call. Uh, Count D's on an old timey phone. Always funny. Always mysterious. Uh, <laughs> on, on like a fucking Bell telephone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, with a man who has purchased a tiger from him, uh, but he's very upset because they sent him a uh, they sent him an ink wash painting, uh, and he's just like I, it's just like I was going to unveil this t- this at a party, but you just sent me this stupid painting, and County is just like oh, so you broke the contract and you showed it to someone. Well, he's just like yes, of course, I had a whole party about it, uh, and behind him the uh, the painting changes because the tiger comes out. <laughs> And it literally comes out of the painting. I was just this like, well, yes, I did was sell very you. Silly. It was very silly. It was ni- It was a nineteen ninety. Um, 
uh, it's just like, yes, he's the last of his kind in this world. And, uh, and yeah, it doesn't even show it. it. It just leaps at him and he goes, oh. Ah. <laughs> and the next scene is in, in Chinatown. Chinatown, a mysterious place where many things, many exotic things can be found. <laughs> Yes, the far off distant land of Chinatown, which is, which is almost like, <laughs> it, it's it's almost ridiculous, but also that just kind of is what Chinatown is in non-China. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like in some places, it is a place where Chinese immigrants live, but in some places, it is a place where Chinese immigrants sell China to people. <laughs> um. Yes, mysterious. Uh. With the whole the whole deal, the the pagodas and everything. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but yeah, uh, and we cut down the street level outside of County's uh, pet shop. So some people who are just talking about the guy who died is just like, yeah, I heard he got pulled apart by dogs. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, oh no, it must have been something bigger than a dog, like a lion or a tiger. And they're like a tiger. Look no one can get a tiger around here. Nah, <laughs> there's no tigers in Chinatown. <laughs> uh, and we 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 follow we follow down the stairs uh, our detective Orcot. Um, Orcot is a '90s anime man in a way that's very uh, very particular. Uh, his species died immediately at the uh, at the advent of the year 2000. <laughs> yeah, he's he, got he, this like he's got a very mullet. yellow. Spiky. His like, hair is his hair is a cheddar yellow mullet. <laughs> it's not, it's like a interesting shape mullet because it's like it looks like it's almost ponytailing, but it's really not. It's just like weirdly puffed up in the back. It's it very fascinating. Um, uh, maybe it's tied. I don't know. It's hard but, to uh, tell. He's he's got a he's got a jacket with the sleeves pushed up, so it has to be like a souvenir jacket or something. Uh, and he's got a just a shirt with a star on it. The man is dressed like Travis Touchdown. <laughs> he really, truly is. He's very um, funny. I, and I, he is can a police I just, detective. Uh, for this is just I'll briefly touch on mm -hmm. uh, because this is when he started talking, and he just immediately goes, "Nice bird, damn." <laughs> and it's it's really <laughs> funny. That's the, that's the end of the line. Read. What it's the hell? Full line. I swear. Well, right. I'll show you some of these lines later. It's really oh. fucking. Funny. Oh man, I expected him to have like a silly accent or something. Not just no. be the most awkward police detective he ever. Is, <laughs> he is so awkward. It's very funny. <laughs> nice bird. Damn. Nice bird. Damn. That's <laughs> like how he reads Damn. it too. It's like really stilted, and it's like. What oh, in man. the world is going because, on here? Because when he's coming down the steps, he does run into a child with a with a bird uh, in a bird cage, and he he lifts it up and looks at it, and it's just like a parakeet. Um, yep. Uh, and, he just, bird. and in Japanese, he's just like, oh, just a regular bird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which, by the way, did, did did this child just purchase a regular ass parakeet? I think from they might just County? sell regular pets. Maybe what, you, Maybe what is the, what regular is, ones sometimes. What is the process he has to go through to determine whether somebody somebody needs to get like a fucked up rabbit human or if they just need like a cockatoo? He just he like, like looks into their soul. It's just like do you it's just like do you need some sort of cursed bird that will speak with your wife's voice or do you need like a fancy rat? Or are you yeah. regular? It seems like he's got pretty good intuition for that sort yeah. of thing. I'm sure. I'm sure he wasn't punishing that little girl, but yeah, yeah. I think who so. knows? Maybe he just maybe he just makes opportunities for amusement. Yeah, yeah probably. Um, oh yes. Uh, oh yes. Uh, welcome back, Doctor Mephisto. Um, but yes. <laughs> um, uh, died 1988. Born 1999. Born 1999. <laughs> <laughs> welcome um, back. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, Doctor Warcock goes down there, and County is just like, "Hey, you want a monkey?" That—that <laughs> <laughs> uh, that really is the energy. He's just like, "I've got all kinds of reptiles and shit. Do you want I one?" Just, we have cats, dogs, exotic birds, even uh, reptiles. <laughs> even reptiles. And uh, welcome to the shop, detective. Would you um, like a fucking giraffe? <laughs> <laughs> do you want? Every... Do you want... You want an illegal, <laughs> illegal anime or uh, animal or me? Uh, but 
<laughs> and you Orcot's just food? like, all right, drop the act of Dragon Lady, Madam Butterfly. <laughs> And then, but, and then some crazy funky music plays whenever. Oh um, yeah, the soundtrack <laughs> of this is crazy. I kind it of is. love it. I'm kind of obsessed. I would I would classify it mostly as pornographic. Yes, um, it is. But it does edge into like prog rock near the end. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's, it, it's 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 like starting in on it's like starting in on like the intro to a yes song by the end. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, Orcot's not having it. He's just like. Just like, hey, man. Get the crap, dude. There's a shitload of dead people connected to your business. Yeah. Are you selling drugs or like people or doing business with Chinese terrorists? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and he's just like, that's absurd. I only sell animals here. It's just, <laughs> it's just like, well, well, this guy turned up mauled and he's just like, oh, yes, we did business with him. I sold him a tiger. And he's like, what? And he's just like, come come into the back and see. He didn't like it, so he gave it back. And he goes back there and he shows him the painting. <laughs> and he's just like, this is a bunch of bullshit. I'm coming back later. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, you got me this time. <laughs> oh, oh, he, he. Um, and then uh and and then some sad people come in. <laughs> yes. Because Count D has to do his business, uh, and his business is tormenting be- bereaved parents. Um, um... I mean, they're kind of fucked up, bereaved parents, but... <laughs> I don't even think they're that fucked up. I just think they're really fucking sad. <laughs> they are. I mean, I don't think they were terrible people I don't overall. think it was. I don't think it was their fault that their daughter was like a, like a sociopath. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I can agree with that. I mean, I, they didn't react well to the situation, but I mean, who can would. say that they would? Um, <laughs> right? Yeah. But uh, yeah, they they've lost their daughter Alice, uh, and uh, and Count D is is there to offer them something they'll really like. But uh, but of course, of course, they couldn't replace Alice, right? Uh, <laughs> they're just like, well, come into the back room with me, and he leads them into the back room. This is the the darkest fucking pet shop ever. They're used. This is this is interesting. There used to be shops like this. Before the era of like chain stores where everything was owned by a brand, when people would just have their shop and it was the only one of its kind that ever existed. Yes, and it was like in someone's like living it room. It could just it could just be whatever. Yeah. I had an experience like this, and this is barely related to the anime, but I started, so I'm gonna tell it. Which is okay. in which I broke my foot whenever I was in, in uh middle school, right? Right before high school. Uh-huh. Okay. I broke my foot. Um, okay. Uh, I had to go get crutches uh, mm-hmm. about it because it was real broke. I had to get crutches and I had to get one of those horrible, like immobilizing boots. Oh, evil um, crutches? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's evil crutches. Okay. Uh, evil. Because for whatever reason, they didn't put me in a cast. Um, <laughs> it must not have been that kind of injury. So we had to go to the place, uh, a place that did prosthetics and crutches and immobilizing boots. For the area, right? We got a referral. We got a referral to somebody who was operating out of their own house. Holy <laughs> shit. Whoa. So we sat down in the parlor with them, surrounded by, I shit you not, fake hands and feet. Oh my God. It was That's one of the amazing. weirdest experiences of my entire life. Incredible. Resident Evil type beat. <laughs> she was very nice and not creepy at all. Her house nice. was fucked up, but she was a very nice person. Wow. What if and she worked very she, fast. She 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 measured my foot and got the right boot and everything and it was very quick. <laughs> what if she was judging you and you, she just determined you were the type of person that didn't deserve the cursed boot? That didn't des- yeah. deserve the cursed foot. Yeah. Well, uh I mean saying that that is one thing. Uh, as soon as we left that place, we uh we were driving home and we got T-boned by somebody oh. without insurance in an intersection. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, mm. <laughs> And, uh, and it did pin the crutches in the back seat, so we had to disassemble them to take them. <laughs> Jeez. Um, it was a very strange day. But anyway, back to my anime. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the anime at hand. <laughs> that was like a, de- a deleted draft of an episode of Pet Little Pet Shop of Horrors. <laughs> Little Pet Shop of Horrors is what I was about to say. Pet Shop of Horrors, yes. Yeah. 
foot shop of horrors. Um, yeah. Jesus. And then the author was like, ah, this one's uh, not really going anywhere. Yeah, we'll just, it doesn't really, really add up. Yet. Let's, let's uh, <laughs> go back to the drawing board with this concept. Maybe, maybe I'll do the bunny one. Yeah, so, let's do the bunny uh, one. So the bunny one. Uh, <laughs> County offers to sell them a rabbit. And that rabbit just happens to look exactly like their dead daughter. <laughs> Down to the clothing. Uh, they are they are baffled by this, but I do like how this scene plays out because because uh, the the mother breaks down. She says, "Alice, what are you doing here? How could you be? How could you be here?" And uh, and uh, just fawns over her and cry and like like sobs. And Count D says, "Well, that's ridiculous. He's a rabbit." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And the husband like. And the husband is like standing shocked, and the the mother just looks up at him for like three beats, and it's just like, of course she's a rabbit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, yes, uh, I understand. And yeah. it's just like I we'll have, have three, it. and just like I have three rules in this contract for you to purchase this rabbit. You must never feed her anything other than water and fresh vegetables. She's a rabbit, of course. You must keep the incense. Uh, I provided with her burning at all times, and you mustn't ever let anybody else see her. And they say, "Of course, of course, we'll do this." And they take her home, like that, and they're, they're serious about it because they're just like, "Get her in the car before anybody sees her." Mm-hmm. Uh, I then, I want to pop in really quick and say I there's like a little bit of wordplay here. I think mm-hmm. um, Usagi is the word for rabbit. Um, yes, yeah, like and... the Yojimbo. And Usotsuki is the word for liar, and so I wonder if there's, oh. like, something hmm. going on there. Interesting. Yeah. Maybe. Japanese. Anyway. Japanese um, with Emma. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, they, they, they get in the car and they drive away, and guess who's behind them parked in his green GT? <laughs> Leon. This it's is, Leon. This is a strange car. <laughs> it's like <laughs> because like they they have the blue GT uh in in Gunsmith Cats and it feels like somebody saw Gunsmith Cats and was just like I like that car. Let's put it in here but make it a little different and make it like just sort of <laughs> like a a weird avocado green. <laughs> yeah. It's like okay man, whatever. <laughs> uh but yeah, uh, he's just like they bought something. I better follow them. But uh, but yeah. Then and the next scene is outside the house. It's uh, it's outside their house in the suburbs where they stopped. Um, and you can hear them talking. Obviously, we don't. We're not in the house. He's parked outside. Uh, and you can hear uh, you can hear the hear the mother just being like, "Oh, Alice, I've got a ribbon for you here. Here, <laughs> right. let me tie it for you. Oh." Let me brush your hair, sweetie. Let me brush your hair, sweetie. And it cuts back to, or, to Detective Orcott, and he's just like a ribbon, huh? Mm. Uh, but so, some some women are walking by, chatting about this about the recent situation. I'm just like, they're just like, did you hear about Alice? It's just like, no. What about Alice? Didn't she pass away? It's just like, yeah. But uh, I heard they bought a rabbit and named it named it after her. It's just like, oh, that's very oh, that's very sad. I hope it doesn't end mm-hmm. up like. Like the real house, right? <laughs> uh, and and Detective Orcott just gets out of the car and is like, and and approaches them, and they just stare at him, and he's just like, "Well, keep talking," <laughs> <laughs> which I quite liked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we cut into the house away from their conversation because uh, we have to see what's going on with the parents and Alice, and mm-hmm. it's dinner time. They've made her made her uh, they've made her a delightful little plate of broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> Play, a plate of dinner that kills Jojo. Um. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> she picks up this meal and you just hear the <laughs> the perfect crunching of celery noises <laughs> that a bunny makes. It was so fucking funny that I had to pause to laugh. <laughs> it was so real. So I rabbitly. Don't, I don't know where to rabbitly. put this because there's another one of those and it's uh, it's uh, Count D's little pet, his little flying rabbit. The little bat monster thing. His, his little bat wing rabbit mm-hmm. uh, is is like inserted into the mix in such a weird way because everybody's speaking like low and relatively muted with like, uh, I feel like they're, they're even EQ'd like a little lower. 
except for uh then this i think this thing is called q chan uh-huh something like uh. that something like that except it comes through and it just goes <laughs> Every time it appears, and I just go, "What?" She's like, <laughs> what? "Ah, I, I have in my notes, Q, 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 Q. What the fuck was that?" <laughs> <laughs> just make Star Wars noises. Oh man, yeah. Um, but yeah, they're 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 feeding her feeding her vegetables. Um, and I, I is there a fucking cup of ranch dressing on that table? Because I don't think that counts. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I uh, no, I don't think I so. I could eat that whole plate of broccoli with ranch dressing. <laughs> I could eat it dry. I could probably eat it dry. I just like some ranch dressing. Mm, yes, um, no, for sure. But uh, but yeah, then they're, they're feeding her, and her papa's there, and her mom's there, and everything is great. And then she 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 looks over on the counter, and she sees like some sweets, right? And she just they says, just "Got some cookies over there." She just says, "Uh." Oh. Oh, and her mother's just like, "Oh, you want some sweets? I'll get some." And the dad is just like, "We're not supposed to do that." Hey, he's literally they like, "Literally, uh, I've honey? had her here for like ten we've minutes. We've had her here. We've had her here for a day, honey." <laughs> he he's literally like, "That guy told us three things." <laughs> he's, he's surprisingly the more reasonable of the two. Yes. Yeah. Okay, this part of the scene I have to discuss because. This is okay. really funny to me because um, the mom just comes out with, she can't survive on vegetables alone. That's not healthy. And I'm like, she does, hello? She does say something like that uh, in, in the Japanese. But, I'm, yeah. but I was thinking at the same time, you are offering her chocolate. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not so part of a balanced needs, diet. <laughs> like she we're not talking getting some iron in her system. We're <laughs> needs damn a cookie. <laughs> um, She's a an anime girl. Glucose. It's not ethical. <laughs> bra- her brain is going to need b- glucose if she's going to develop the fucking power of speech. <laughs> <laughs> oh my um, god. But yeah, she and 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 she really pushes it. She just like goes and gets it anyway. And he's just like, I I don't know about this. And she's like, surely it'll be okay just once. Just this once. Just this once. She can't just live on on vegetables. And he's just like, just this once, I guess. I guess just a bite. Uh, and then it cuts back to Count D and eek eek eek. Um, <laughs> and he's just like, oh yeah, did they? Uh, oh well. Ah <laughs> uh, well. Better go uh, collect. And it cuts. We cut back almost immediately. That she is just like full on, like three a.m. ghouling in the corner eating Oreos. <laughs> yeah, she's just like me for real. <laughs> yeah, crouched. me too. She's not even in a room. She's just like crouched in the hall, middle of the hallway, and there's like discarded packets yep. of me for uh, real packets of me fucking Oreos and shit. <laughs> I'm just like, geez, at least go to the corner. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh man! Uh, and her parents are approaching. It's just like that's that's enough. That's You're enough, make Alice. And she, sick. And she literally just gnarls. <laughs> yeah. She's like. Gar, gar, um, gar, gar, gar. Uh, and then she and then she doubles over uh, in pain, and she's just like, "What's wrong? Does your stomach hurt? Because you ate fucking four packages of Oreos, you goddamn <laughs> freak." <laughs> <laughs> you are going to fall into a diabetic fucking coma. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, but no, uh, because yeah, uh, it's time. It's time to get as close to gory as we really get. Uh, yeah, we're gonna because, get some horror finally here. Because yeah, she's got she's got lumps moving around her torso, and they're just like, oh god, and yeah, they burst out. They uh, also play a sound effect here that is. I don't know how to describe it. It's it's very scrunchy, squishy, and it's, it's oh yeah, it's gross. Play a uh, sound effect that is morally wrong. To, to, I'm remembering, I'm remembering the Foley work on this, and I have to agree because it occurred immediately before the mm-hmm. the lumps were animating, and I thought she was literally going to shit herself. <laughs> that is the noise you, they were using. It sounds yeah. like if you it, like, imagine if you took like a like a rubber glove and you balled it up in your hand and squished it around. Like I want you it sounded to sounded kind of like that. I want you to imagine that you have eaten an entire uh, pint <laughs> jar of pickles. 
<laughs> the noise that your stomach would make. Uh, oh, it's bad. Um, Anyhow. Uh, and yeah. Uh, yeah, she just has a big hole burst out of her. And uh, she falls to the ground. And they're, they're, they're horrified, of course, because they're, they're, their precious rabbit has died. Uh, huh. But more, the, the larger problem is that there are now many infants. <laughs> She's full uh, of babies. She was full of babies. This Count D ha, does have some explaining to do on this part. Because I want to know from when who's the father? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> it was some cookies. Because because typically, like like he doesn't say anything about like parthenogenesis here. Mm. Which is what you have to assume is happening. Mm-hmm. But uh but uh, yeah, who who's the father? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's time to to cut away from that because we've got to cut back to uh, the, the detective who's gone back to the precinct, and it's just like we we need to authorize a raid on Chinatown, which is a hilarious way to start your sentence. This but, scene is so funny because his boss is just like obviously is obviously just like we're not gonna do that. <laughs> what are you stupid? <laughs> um. And he's just, he's just like it's almost like an extra territory. You have to be you, you you've gotta you've gotta have something before you go go in. And he's just like, I have proof and I'll get more. And he and he walks away. Uh and he immediately <laughs> drives to ignores to, him. <laughs> drives to their house uh mm-hmm. because because he's 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 going to confirm it. Uh and who who else is out front but but Count D? And he's just like, ah, you're here. That's that's as good as proves it. And Count D says, Proves what? <laughs> I have simply come to reclaim an animal. I've come to pick up an animal. I didn't expect them to adhere to the terms of the contract. And he's like, I know you were selling them drugs. <laughs> Detective, I literally just got here. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, as much as you do. Can I know you, you get sold off my shit. Uh, I know you sold Alice drugs because that's apparently how Alice died. Alice was apparently a, a career fuck up. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, she did. She had a disastrous this. drug addiction, uh, addiction, and she overdosed. Um, and he's just like, I've simply come up and come to pick up a rabbit. And he's just like, enough of that shit. And he kicks the door in, and like a weird failure of the script, I assume, pr- proceeds to the dub as well. This is just poorly explained. Yeah. Because <laughs> he immediately, he says, I'm going to take you with me and then kicks the door to the house in. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not doing, you're not doing that. Like, oh, okay, okay, whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the house is dark and it's full of smoke. And he's just like, what is that smell? Is that drugs? Is like, is it, no, it's incense. Hmm. Uh, and there are, do- there are an alarming number of infants in here. This is a genuinely like freakish scene. It's unsettling. There are too many, basically. Yeah. Uh, you stop counting after like a dozen. You know, they're like piled up the stairs, and they're all they're all facing him mm-hmm. with their their beady little red eyes. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's like, "What the fuck is going on here?" And he and he turns the lights on, and uh, they're rabbits. They're all of them are just like normal rabbits. Yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, not normal rabbits. They're kind of they're, horrible. They're scary rabbits. Rabbits. Up evil rabbits. They're scary, I, they're fucked up, scary, evil rabbits. They do jump and like trying to kill him. I think. I'd Wait, like to I, briefly back up and say, do you guys <laughs> think that Leon can fucking see that little thing on Count D's shoulder? Like, I was wondering. This is a good, this like, is a good question. Because no what one the acknowledges fuck is that thing. This like bat rabbit. This, this little imp creature. I don't know what the hell it is, it but it is looks not like a normal. Little potato, like it's like a little is, stack of meat with wings. This is as good a place as any to bring this up. Uh, Emma, do you remember when we showed you uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part One? We showed yeah. you most of it. Do you I believe we watched scene? all of it. Do you remember that scene where uh, Dio is in London before he goes back to uh, to take over the countryside, uh, and he is just making like. He's just ma- making flesh abominations for his own amusement. He's like grafting like women's heads onto peacock yeah. bodies and stuff. That's what I feel like, like Count D does. You know, 
I feel yeah, like Bucky is in the business of selling Dio's flesh homunculi. <laughs> yeah, I do wonder if he, like, is just collecting these exotic creatures, or if he's just, like, <laughs> sitting around in the shop like, hmm. I wonder what I'm going to make today. Better make a fucked up rabbit. <laughs> today I'm going to make a rabbit that's a little girl. <laughs> I'm going to make a rabbit that's your dead daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I've chosen to do this. <laughs> As a joke. <laughs> Oh, get pranked. So um, so Leon sees the fucking rabbits and uh, they go says, crazy. He says, that's a lot of fucking rabbits. <laughs> yes, rabbits are known to breed. <laughs> uh, and yeah, and Count D helpfully ju- just says, oh, I sold them a, ra- a regular rabbit, except it was just very prolific. <laughs> and as he says that, another one of the rabbits has fallen has has like fallen on its side. And this is after they discover the husband who has been rabbited to a permanent end. Um, yeah, he's yeah. The, the husband did not make it. Uh, he's been one, thumped. Uh, yes, he has been thumped. Um, <laughs> and uh, one of the rabbits is on its side and more are spawning from it. We hear the horrible sound effect again. At this which point. leads the detective to bring up a very good point uh, at this point, which is well, you sold them something. Do something about this. And it's just like, just like it's it's out of our hands. They broke the contract. We have no responsibility. And then I want them to just be like, if the city is consumed by fucking rabbits, it's gonna affect your bottom line. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna put a significant dent in foot traffic to the pet shop. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was well, pretty be- crazy to hear Leon be like. Fucking do something and Count D be like, no. Hmm. <laughs> no, I don't feel like it. You're no. the cops. Again, to be <laughs> fair, Count D does know what's going to happen next, I'm pretty sure. He, he is aware. I would, lo- yeah, I would have loved so. him to respond with, call the police. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, man. Uh, Count D heads upstairs uh, past mm-hmm. the, the rabbits who have, who have previously attacked Leon, uh, but uh, Leon's a big man who will just fire his gun in the air about nothing. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Yeah, that was wild. He, he has scared the rabbit. They no longer wish to attack him. Um, and upstairs, the the both of them uh, stumble across uh, the mother, who is surrounded by rabbits, but un- seemingly unharmed by them. Uh, she has a knife. I presume that she uh, went sick house crazy on the ones that attacked her. Presumably, and that's uh, and 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 her husband simply couldn't hack it. Um, <laughs> Not strong she's, enough. She's sitting there. She's sitting there weeping. Uh, and he just said, "Why? Why? Why would you feed her anything?" Other than yeah, I, she's like there, covered in blood, crying, surrounded by rabbits. And Count D walks up to her and is like, "Hey, bitch, why'd you do that?" <laughs> you fucked like, up. He's just like, are you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> this wasn't difficult. Uh, uh, and he's just like, she wanted sweets. She begged for them. And she smiled so sweetly when I gave her one. <laughs> yes. Like an angel. And he's just and like... He, he was like, I literally told you she would beg. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, he, actually, he's worse because he's just like, isn't that how you killed your real daughter? That's just true, once, yeah. Just once? <laughs> just this once? <laughs> you, you, you all gave her everything she wanted and never scolded her when she did wrong and Including spoiled her, her rotten? drug addiction. Even when she became a drug addict and you had the chance to save her? And it cuts to a scene where, where they, have, uh, they have got her in, in like lockdown rehab hooked up to an IV, and she is emaciated. Yeah, she's she's Jinji Ito she looks looking. Not uh, great. She and is. She's just like, and she's just like, Mama, just this one last time? And Mama's just like, maybe just this one last time. And she's just like, why do you have crack? Bro. <laughs> where did you get that? <laughs> why did you bring it with you into the rehab where your why daughter you is bring that with you to rehab? Oh my god. <laughs> just this once, I guess, sweetie. Um, and know. yeah, presumably that led to her death by overdose, um, which is very sad. It's all very sad <laughs> because the mother isn't really a bad person. She's just incapable of saying no to her daughter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's, 
uh and then and then the rabbits uh rabbits go to attack because they because uh because he, he goes on some spiel about how uh the when rabbits rabbits will in, eat their mother or something they, in, they inherit the sin of matricide from them yeah <laughs> um and they go to attack her, uh, and some do bite her, but then they they all fall s- suddenly dead. And uh, when the uh, detective like looks around, he's just like, "What's happening?" He's just, just like, "Oh well, the poison's kicked in." <laughs> it's like, "What do you mean?" What? It's just like, "Well," uh, and I could have written this better too in the subtitles. I basically all you had to do is write theobromide is toxic to rabbits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he talks about how about how processed sugars are are poisonous to this breed of rabbits that aren't aren't immune to them, and that that it was yeah, passed like, down through all the generations, so all the like, rabbits are dying. No, no rabbits are immune to chocolate, bro. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Um, well, he doesn't even mention chocolate by name. He's just talking about processed. Sugar. I know that's what I'm saying. Um, but uh. But yeah, they're, they're all falling dead. So they leave this house, and this house is full of approximately uh, 10,000 dead rabbits, one dead human man, and a and a traumatized middle-aged woman. But they're just not going to do anything about which that. Which they're not going to address at all, which I, I always... Like, a lesser show would leave this plot thread hanging, and you would say, hey, what are they going to do about the woman? But this show, but this show with its protagonist who doesn't give a single shit about her, you don't have to tie up that plot thread. No, because yeah. who cares? Yeah, he just wanted to get his proof. <laughs> it's like yeah. ah, Count D has spoiled me. Yeah, Count D doesn't give a shit, and the detective is just a bad cop. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I do question Mister Orcott's thought process here because, it, it, as a matter of fact. They were killed by an animal he sold them. So, like, mm, like he has pretty ha- concrete proof. There is some culpability here. Um, He's yeah. like, I'm not animal control. <laughs> I don't know how well you're going to be able to litigate that contract. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's binding. Um, yeah. Also, he just left the scene of... Uh, he, he just left the scene of an accidental death. Yeah, Which he's probably supposed not... to report. <laughs> yeah, he probably should. Do... Maybe he was like, gonna, gonna, like, well, I guess I gotta do a bunch of paperwork now. Uh, yeah, he's gonna have to do a lot of <laughs> very odd paperwork about this one. But yeah, he follows the count all the way back to his shop because he's just sort of shell-shocked by it. Uh, and he's just like, uh, what does he ask him? I forget. He, he asks him a question. Uh, um... He's just like, did you know that was going to happen? It's just like, did you did you predict all of this? And the count stops for a moment and looks at him over his shoulder, uh, and just says, "Why don't you come inside for tea? It's about that time. I'll make you a delicious <laughs> chocolate pie filled with Bavarian cream." <laughs> and I was that's the just end like of the episode. ice emoji. <laughs> yes, go in. <laughs> I'm just like, that's a great way to end. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody want any sweets? That's some crypt keeper ass shit, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love the framing character for a horror story. We've talked mm-hmm. about this before. We discussed this with <laughs> Kazuo Umezu. Yeah. <laughs> and the laughing salesman and all those fuckers. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's um, yeah. I I thought this was fucking wonderful. It it had the vibe of like those like crazy old like seventies and eighties like horror anthology TV shows that nobody remembers, mm-hmm. yes. like like Kolchak the Night Stalker and shit like that. Fucking like it was Shadow Gallery. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like exactly that vibe, and I am majorly into it. I have sadly discovered there are only four episodes of this. There are only this was four an OVA. Ep- yes. This it's is the bad. other kind of OVA. That, that being said, episodes. this is one that I would watch more of. Yes, I would. I could see myself consuming all four of these little. We may, episodes, we like may just snacks. watch the rest of this. We could it just ha- yeah. hang out and watch them. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> it's spooky. Um. Anyway, if uh, you'd like to purchase an exotic pet, uh, hit me up about that privately. I do live in Texas. Uh, we have the <laughs> largest number of tigers outside of Asia. Um. 
true. But otherwise, for other business, you can go to the one episode cast at gmail.com. That is one the word, not the number. Hey, we're on Twitter, Blue Sky. Um, we are at one episode cast, and you can. I don't know. You can buy that fucked up bat jokes. monster from us. Yeah, we, no, we don't have eek, any of eek, those eek. anymore. Oh, we don't were... have any anymore. 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 We since, yeah, we just sold the last one since you know? the incident. <laughs> my uh, my cousin found a tiger in a guy's house out in the holler. Nice. <laughs> and he let it go. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Oh man. That's so just out there, huh? Yeah. He oh. I he told him there was a crazy story. He also said there was a baboon that he um beat to death. Maybe I shouldn't say this on the podcast. <laughs> I don't even know how real this is. I'm just comparing it to my dad's stories about I being like a... I couldn't tell if that was a shit post legitimately. Not, being... not a shit post. He really Whoa. said that shit. My uh, my dad my, my dad had a carpet clean was part of a carpet cleaning business where at one point they did try and pay them in cocaine and didn't they didn't accept it um wow. but it did lead them into such situations as uh being friends with a guy who had multiple big cats and oh, uh learning this while uh while doing doing work around this guy's house and then finding himself wrist deep in a panther's mouth oh Whoa. shit uh, the panther was uh, defanged. Um, oh my! Uh, oh, poor creature. Poor the, thing. The same guy apparently had a lion, and he would drive around town with the lion in the back seat of his convertible. Wow! That feels mm. like someone should have done something. That's... Yes. Welcome to Texas. Not a, not great. <laughs> he also used to feed him frozen chickens by just not... hurling them over the fence to him. Oh man! <laughs> Jesus. <Not good. laughs> The horror of reality. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Wow. Goodbye. Ending Bye. Soon, Anna. <laughs> Bo boy, I'm glad I got rid of that. Movie.